hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time of stopping by i say welcome please consider subscribing to my channel in this channel we make the beautiful styles for our baby girls and this star is this star is what we are going to be making today please stick to the shan to the video and please watch and watch to the end don't forget to give me a thumbs up So for this style, we'll be, I'll be using my brown paper for the upper bodies because of the design at the front part. Yeah, it will enable me to um, get the design well. So for this one, I'll be cutting my back and my front bodies together. So the line I'm marking now is the my zipper allowance is what i marked out now one inch or 1.5 inch depending on how much you want then for the half length my half length is 11 inches and i added one inch allowance for the for the joining of the shoulder and the other part of the um dress so then i connected the line i marked a straight line for that line then for my neckline i'm going to mark um 2.5 remember remember that the, uh, your measurement is going to start from the zipper allowance and not from the the starting of the brown paper i hope you understand just look at the video so i marked three inches by three inches for my neck neck um depth and width and then i made a curve for you know i marked 3.2.5 for the width and three inches for the length and then i made a curve for it i made a curve for width then for my shoulder my shoulder is 12 inches um, plus divided by two i marked it and then the same six inches is what i'm going to go down with for my armhole depth. for my armhole depth then i marked the line at my armhole depth i'm going to take in my bust measurement which is 25 inches divided by four and i added my two inches allowance for joining then i also marked then i made a curve for my armhole curve and then i inserted my waist measurements which is 26 inches remember children most times they have um their tummy is bigger than their bust <laughs> that's children for you so the uh, the waist is 26 inches divided by four i marked it and then i went down by one inch for my shoulder slope connected it to connected it to my neckline and that's all for the bodies if you haven't subscribed to my channel please what are you waiting for hit on the subscribe button join the growing family please don't forget to give me a thumbs up share my videos to the family and friends as well so i'm supposed to mark the back um bodies before cutting out the neckline but nevertheless nothing has spoiled so i marked the starting line of the of the bodies then from there i marked 1.5 inches down for the neckline of that of the back then every other thing i'm going to cut it the same remember i've al already added all, all the allowances i needed at the on the brown paper that's the joining allowance the zipper allowance every other every other thing so i'm going to cut out this um as it is then for the i'm going to remove the zipper allowance before cutting the front part so i'm going to transfer this measurement as well to the to my um fabric as the front bodies So for the design at the front part what i did is to go down by one by half inch from my armhole measurement the half inch is just for the joining because the um the design is actually stopped at the armhole so the half inch is just for the joining of the upper part and the down part so i cut went ahead to cut it out on my fabric The next thing I'm going to do is to cut the design the actual way it is. So from my shoulder measurement, I went down by 2.5 inches. 2.2 inches are actually, but I'm going to use 5 in um, 0.5 inch to join the to join it to, to fold it in. You can add more inches if you can manage the little 0.5. So I connected the line to meet the armhole at the other side. Then from there, I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead for the flay. The my fabric is folded into four. I fold the first one like in a triangular form, and then 
um cut fold the other one this is a full flay so um that's how i folded it into four so my waist is going to be divided into four as well that's what i'm going to mark here so i marked four inches all around and i measured it it's about 28 inches um about 28 inches i think i have a little bit just like one inch more than my waist but it don't seem so I, i'm going to print it into the flame then from there i'm going to mark my um way the my measurements so the down part of it the, the it is divided into two so i have here 11 inches that one inch to join the up and the down then for the other other one i also have 11 inches for the join no i have 12 inches for joining and then for folding the down part so i cut the, it out then for the sewing <laughs> after um, i'm going to go ahead and use my fabric bias to turn the neckline of the back one so for this neckline um this is how i used i turn it so where i pin is where i'm going to sew all around then turn it to the other side to the wrong side fold it in and then cover the rough edges and sew all the way down i said i just decided to show you guys how i turn it with my fabric bias in case you don't know and most times i have 1.5 inches for the for the bias so for the front part this um extra um different fabric is at the wrong side of it because i want it to go to the right side after sewing so i have the wrong side facing the wrong side that's the two fabric is in the is facing each other at the wrong side um, i went ahead to pin this to get to pin this down because i don't want it to move while sewing so i pinned it down and took it on my sewing machine to stitch it down So this is it after sewing it all around um i made i went ahead to notch it all around to release the tension there and then i turned it to the right side now i have the two fabric at the right side so the next thing i'm going to do here is to um put the, okay this is the back one also after turning it with my fabric bias the both of them so the, and i also went ahead to um top stitch the front part as you can see because the two fabric the pink fabric is is thicker than the other one so it's going to be pulling it in so i went ahead to top stitch it but you can use your iron to hold this in place if that's what you want but for me i think top stitching it is a better option for me so i'm going to fold in this with that half inch inch i left i added earlier so i folded it in and i stitched it down so the next thing i'm going to do is to take in my zipper allowance i'm going to put the two fabric together the back fabric together and then the front part fabric folding it together so i'll be sure that my this allowance i'm taking out is not more than what i'm supposed to take or is not less than what i'm supposed to take so i place it together and i held the ss which is the zipper allowance So the next thing I'm going to do is to hold in, it's to um, sh stitch my shoulder measurement. So I use my pin to hold the two two shoulders together, and then I s took it to my um, sewing machine and stitched it together. so the next thing i'm going to do is to um is to mark out my sleeve so for my sleeve i'm going to my sleeve is seven inches plus the allowance uh, allowance which is two inches so for the cups cap side i'm going to go down by three inches for children um this works 
well for me and i added two inches allowance for the folding so i'm going to go ahead to connect this <laughs> i don't know how to explain the way i connected it but if you have your um french curve you can use this but if you don't have your fresh curve just make it look like you are writing a, a, a s that's exactly how it's going to look just a free hand cutting remember so <laughs> then the next thing i'm going to go do is to um connect to fold down the rough edges of the at the end then stitch this down um found the middle the center of the of the thumb hole place it on my shoulder if on the center of my shoulder stitch it then stitch it all the way to the armhole so the next this is it after stitching it down the next thing i'm going to do is to shape in the two sides from the sleeve to the armhole all the way to where i the uh, the boy stops so this with my um bust and waist measurement of course So for the down part, I'm going to go ahead to measure the the display first. And what I have here is 25 inches or 25.5 inches. I can't really remember. I think it's 25 inches. So that 25 inches, I'm going to times four. That will have about 100 inches. So I'm going to cut out a straight fabric about 100 inches. Then for the length, the um is is 10 inches is 12 inches remember we are going to fold the down part so i cut um, 100 inches out then for the flay i'm going to open up one side this is it after i opened it i'm going to open up one side to serve as the zipper um that will be at the zipper allowance so i'm going to open it up then for the So I'm done joining the two sides together. I went ahead to remove the pin holding the zipper allowance to enable me to join the flay. So I'm going to go ahead and join the flay together with the bodies. That's front side facing the front side. And I'll stitch it all the way from where it starts to where it stops. So the next thing I did is to fold in the rough edges at, on the um, final stage of the <laughs> of the style. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and um, okay, this is me showing you that I have a little bit of extra on the flay, so I just um, um, plate it into the bodies. It doesn't change anything. So I'm done folding in the um, the fabric, the hundred inches fabric. I'm going to go ahead to attach it to the flame. From one end of it, I will sew it all through to where it stops. So the next thing I'm going to do is to hold in my zipper allowance then attach my zip. And that's all for this tie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Share my videos to family and friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.
Thank <laughs> you.